most of us, unfortunately, eat a lot of proce- ultra-processed food. Mm. And a lot of those chemicals are just straight up not going to not gonna be good for the gut. If they're, they're either irritating um, some of the... <coughs> Some of the emulsifiers, they can uh, overtly cause um, intestinal permeability. I think, I think the fact that so, so much of our diet, and, and I'm, I'm talking, I'm, I'm sure most of the listeners listening to us are probably don't fall into this category. So I don't want to paint it with a large brush, but I'm talking about the majority of, let's say, the Western world. Um, and, and to be honest, not even the Western world, the, the whole world, because I've, I've done some work with uh, families in um, India and Africa, and what they're eating there is even orders of magnitude worse uh, uh, than, than what we are eating. The, the The only difference is that in the West, we have access to amazing food. It's a bit more expensive, but people continue to buy the industrial ultra-processed stuff. And uh, that is a big driver of disease, you know, like if you look at our omega-6 seed oil consumption f- from 1865 to 2008, I think it went from, uh, Jesus, from one less than 1% of the diet to um, at one point it was 11% of the calories consumed in the States. And then it's, at this point, it's probably something like closer to 20%. 15 to 20%, I believe the numbers, uh, I can't exactly remember. So a lot of a lot of very inflammatory foods are coming into 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 our uh, gastrointestinal tract. In fact, these polyunsaturated fats, a lot of them, because these, <clears throat> think about it this way, these things go rancid at room temperature. The human body is much higher, the temperature of the human body is much higher than room temperature. So these things, even inside our gut, on the way to become part of a cell membrane or whatever other part of a, of the body, they are spontaneously combusting, auto, auto-oxidizing or whatever, and they're causing a lot of damage along the way. So I believe uh, that's another massive thing most people still haven't really... They haven't understood the gravity of the situation. People were like, yeah, well, I don't buy sunflower oil. We don't cook with those. We only use uh, avocado or, or coconut or olive oil. And I'm like, that's great. But how many times did you eat takeout this week? How many times did you go to the restaurant this month? Well, every single one of those, those times, <coughs> it's actually quite probable, unless you were a bit orthorexic like uh, like many of the people listening to us or, you know, uh, you know, unless you're telling the server, listen, I, I have a severe allergic re- reaction if I get seed oils. Can you tell the chef to use butter or olive oil to, to saute my vegetables? Unless you do that, you're pro- every meal you're having out of the house, again, take out or, or uh, prepared for you, you're likely getting a few grams of PUFAs, uh, polyunsaturated fats. So that is a huge, huge thing. Um, and then actually uh, the, uh, what I was actually going go, going to talk about earlier is uh, because foods like p- uh, polyunsaturated fats, uh, a lot of sweeteners in the diet, a lot of calories, but very little nutritional value, because of that, uh, a lot of us are quite deficient, uh, our diets are quite deficient in minerals, for example, zinc, if, especially if you're, if you're more plant-based or a lot of my female clients they don't eat a lot of meat, not by not by choice. It's just they can't eat, you know, a 300 gram steak or whatever. They eat a bit, and that's all they can muster. And through over the years, you know, you might have a child or two children. Through this, um, you know, you're you're actually going to get quite depleted in zinc. And you need zinc for uh, uh, hydrochloric acid production, right? You need zinc for pancreatic enzyme. Um, uh, uh, c- uh, creation of those uh, enzymes and an- obviously a number of other things immune function etc et- etc et so if you're <clears throat> just one deficiency let's say zinc which I believe is quite rampant again plant based uh, uh, or plant heavy diets and eating uh, just to add if you eat a lot of uh, um, grains or <coughs> polyphenol rich foods a lot of plants with your meat, with your source of zinc, the, some of these things chelate the zinc in the in the stomach and in the gut. So you have your oxalates, you have your phytic acid, 
um, I think I, I can't remember if tannins or whatever, uh, but uh, some of these anti nutrients will chelate, bind uh, uh, calcium, magnesium, uh, zinc, iron, and you might not even absorb them if, again, if you're combining, let's say, uh, beef with oatmeal or something like that, you a, l- a lot of the iron and the zinc in the beef is going to get uh, chelated and absorbed or, or rather chelated and ex- probably excreted before it has a chance to be absorbed, right? So, so uh, zinc deficiency leading to hypo- hypochlorohydria or low uh, hy- hydrochloric acid production in the stomach, that alone now predisposes you to more uh, bacteria potentially colonizing the small intestine. <clears throat> Coupled with reduced pancreatic enzyme production, because again, the, the zinc deficiency, now you have a, a, a potential for f- uh, uh, undigested food particles to make it into the bloodstream, like you were saying earlier, Lee, which is quite a, quite a common occurrence. So from that problem, now you have... <laughs> Uh, you're going on to potential <clears throat> small intestinal dysbiosis. You're going to um, uh, immune system activation, potential cross reactivity. Some because we know that some of these undigested food particles they can resemble um, parts of our tissues. So we we have this concept of cross reactivity or molecular mimicry. So that can actually over time, if left unchecked can lead to autoimmunity. So just one deficiency of one mineral, Jesus, how many things can happen? And now, in this state, you're more predisposed to more uh, 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 nutrient deficiencies because of these things. Be- because if you can't, if you can't break the, the food f- down fully, if the intestine is damaged, if there's dysbiosis, it further prevents you from absorbing and assimilating the food better. So this one thing can lead into a, a whirlwind of of uh, of uh, hellish problems for a person.